problem number 3 from projection of solid in this abcd is a tetrahedron so the solid is a tetrahedron of 60 mm long edge the edge ab is in the hp so let's start with the first position initial position so you have to draw a line xy first now it is resting with its long edge so whatever they are uh, resting on you have to draw it in this direction in projection of solid in projection of plane you have to uh, draw it here if it is resting with its edge so let's uh, draw it the edge because it's a tetrahedron so all the triangle on the solid is equilateral triangle so equilateral triangle of 60 mm so first of all mm, draw a la uh, this line of 60 mm long like this and then draw a equilateral triangle like this find out the intersecting point and draw equilateral triangle of side 60 mm so if you observe it from the top it is look like a, a corner point a center point also is visible over here in tetrahedron so you have to find a center point this is a 3 here is also 3 by joining center point of a corner uh, co center points of the side with the respective corners like this but you have to just draw a thick thin line first and find out the center point and join only the corners we are interested in corners only so this is my center point let's say so joint it with the corner so this is the uh, sides which we looking for if you are observing from the top your tetrahedron is look like this so this is how it looks like from the top now give labeling so in uh, to write down the names of the corners make sure you give it properly because see the edge ab is in the hp so ab that means they, they are talking about this so this point is a and this point is b now rest of the point a b c and this is a d it's not a center point it's a tetrahedron so tetrahedron has a four points so one a b c and d so you have to start with this do, do not start with this otherwise whole problem will be wrong because the edge a b is in the hp so this a b they are talking about now draw the projections On XY line to draw the front view of tetrahedron now uh, this is not a square rectangle a triangle pyramid or prism so here uh, there is a trick you just have to extend a line first line over here like this we don't know the height of this tetrahedron but from the top front you can see one edge one corner from this corner from c corner you have to uh, this is a 60 mm because tetrahedron all sides are 60 mm so from c point mark a point on the projection of d point so this line and draw it so this line is a 60 mm this side is a 60 mm side 
and rest of the things you can join it like this so this point is c dash this is a dash b dash and this is d dash so, so this is your front view of tetrahedron now second position the edge if the edge cd is at an angle of 45 degree to the hp so cd this this edge is making an angle of 45 degree with the hp so right now we have to measure what is the angle of this line of this line with this you don't need to measure it you just have to draw it with here like mark anywhere on the point and uh, draw a line at an angle of 45 degree draw a line you can see this cd is uh, 60 mm so you can draw this point is c dash so mark a point at here to get a d dash point so you got your d dash point at 45 degree angle and at 60 mm distance now you have to complete the rectangle so for that you have to measure this angle this uh, distance uh, angle between these two lines like this so this angle is around you can see 55 55 so the angle between this line and this line is a 55 so just transfer this angle here it's around 55 is over here and measure this distance which is around 5 cm ok I have made some mistake so here you have uh, make sure that A dash B dash is on the XY line while you take a C dash on the XY line uh, your A dash B dash is uh, going below XY line so for that you have to just mark a C dash point anywhere on the 45 degree like this c dash anywhere now measure this distance c dash a dash b dash and put point over here and find out a point on intersecting of x y line so this distance must be transferred over here so this line is this point is your a dash b dash which satisfy our condition in which your edge or uh, the edge is on the HP which is that means XY line now uh, you have to find out C dash radius which is easy like it's a uh, uh, 60 mm you can mark it or just measure it that's up to you so this point is D dash so you can connect all of them with this So this angle is 45 degree which we are asked for and your corner is on or edge is on the HP so it maintain on the HP. Now draw the projections to find out intersecting points. So this point is A, B, C and B. Joint all of them. Joint with D as well.
in this position uh, there is no hidden line because all the edges and corners is visible from the top so this is my intermediate position now this is most important point in here in the third point you can see the edge cd is at an angle of 45 degree degree with the hp and same edge is inclined at 45 degree with the vp so uh, normally what we have to do uh, like, like cd Mm, this CD, CD is right now at a for parallel to the XY line and make it 45 degree and draw whole structure. But in this case, it's not like that. You have to understand the concept of projection of plane in which one line, if one line is inclined with HP and VP both, then you have to find out apparent angle. So let's find out apparent angle first. So for that, just draw a normal line. 45 degree line over here so this is not angle we we can take because one line is making an angle of 45 if they ask a different edge which is make a 45 degree with the VP then you can directly take 45 degree angle here but in this case they have asked to uh, the inc inclination is with the CD with HP and VP both then you have to find out apparent angle so first of all draw a line at an angle of 45 degree now put point C anywhere measure the true length of CD which can be gives by the initial position so measure this distance true length of CD here and mark a point D so this point is a D point D uh, 1 because it's not a final point okay now draw a locus line which you have already learned in projection of line draw locus line here so this is my locus line locus of d now measure the top view of the cd this is the top view after second position so this is the top view of the cd put point on c and make an arc on the locus line c to locus line so this point is your d point now so this is a locus of d this line is a locus of d now join them c and d so this is my final cd so we cannot take a 45 degree angle we have to take this angle so this angle is actually a beta angle if they ask uh, which angle is this so this angle is actually a beta angle okay so this is how you have to solve this problem first now you have to construct rest of the things here by transferring all the dimensions here i am going to use a measurement method so you don't need to draw a rectangle you can draw it but i will uh, teach you the different method also so first of all measure this angle with respect to cd this line we are talking we need uh, this line so you need to find out this angle so this is around 33 so this is 33 degree and uh, this is also same because it's a equilateral triangle so measure a 33 de degree angle both the side so measure a 33 angle and draw a line same measure 33 from this direction also like this now measure this distance c to a and transfer it here so this point is your a point and same this distance is also same so this point is c to b 
so this point is B point now make it dark and joined with each other so that will create your shape it has only uh, we need to draw only triangle so it's very easy but in pentagon or hexagon it will little bit difficult So this shape we have transferred it at an angle of not 45 degree ap apparent angle whatever the angle it is now draw the projections to find out the intersecting points find out intersecting points start with the a so this point is a dash this point is b dash sorry this is a dash then c dash is over here and this is a d dash join them So this is the final position okay initial intermediate and final position in this you have to understand the concept of apparent angle so this is the problem number three from uh, projection of solid